Okay. Greetings, folks. Brett Gurney here. So in this video, we're going to do it's kind of a how-to video. Um, how to get a hosting account with HostGator. And while I'm at it, I will show you how to get a domain while you're signing up because if you don't have a domain, you could do it at the same time. If you do have a domain, um, you don't need to do it at the same time, but um, it's the same process if you want to ever want to go back and, and purchase another domain or whatever. So, so what I'm going to do here is just, and by the way, if you want to get the hosting account after the tutorial, you can go to this link here, bgmarketing.online slash host gator okay and um that is a link that is coded to me and i would appreciate it if you go there and, and get your hosting account there because that way i will be more available to you to help um, with additional training and stuff like that so let me uh i need my glasses at least right now and so let me pull up a new browser here. And whoops. Okay. Paste and go. And so this is HostGator. You could go to just go to HostGator.com, but um, like I said, if you don't mind. And by the way, if, if anyone, if you ever have seen these stickies, these things are great. If you don't use these stickies, these are great because I mean, they they stay on your screen. Um, you can put them anywhere you want. You can. Make them tiny if you want. You can make them big if you want. But even when you shut your computer off and turn it back on, it, it's still there. Okay, you can minimize it, you know, by clicking over here. But then you just go down here to your toolbar and, and pop it back up. And they're really great if you've got, if you're working on something and you, and you have stuff that you need to refer to, like I just did. Um, you can just, you know, swipe it or whatever and don't pay any attention to this other stuff doesn't mean anything um so sticky notes they're a simple simple plugin for wordpress which is kind of what what, what we're doing and, and i'm going to show you how to get this hosting account here i'll get going on that but but really quickly why would a beginner or why would anybody want their own hosting account well there's a lot of reasons okay um but one of the things that we'll be doing is showing you how to install wordpress.org which is free um, and and that's what you is more preferred for somebody who is wants to learn how to do internet marketing somebody who wants to show others that they're serious about their internet marketing that wants to create an identity for themselves online that wants to brand themselves online that wants to acquire an online presence which a lot of times is what people are looking for when they're looking for somebody to partner up with okay somebody that not only are they serious about their business serious enough to create their own brand online but also that tells them that they would be able to help you do the same thing to teach them how to do the same thing and, and those are just you know a couple of the reasons but with um with a very inexpensive hosting account and a free wordpress there's so much that you can do number one blogging okay and you're going to use the blog as your hub and drive traffic there and build a list um and show people whatever it is that you want to show them um and you can get these really cool plugins that will do all these really cool things which i'll be showing you a lot of you can build websites um you know you can you can host videos and host images and 
all this stuff. So anybody that wants to learn how to do internet marketing should have their own hosting account, as opposed to blogging on blogger.com, which if they did that, your URL is going to be blogger.com slash Brett Gurney or whatever. Um, you know, there's there's some other, there's wordpress.com, which is hosted by them. And if you're if you're doing any of those, the, the hosting is the hosting is hosted by them. Okay, so you're not branding yourself. You want to brand yourself. You want to be able to get your own domain of your name or the name of your company or your brand or your product or your service or whatever it is that you're doing, and you want to brand that and brand you uh, and create an online presence. And that's why you want to have your own hosting account and your own WordPress. So I pull pull up the the uh, hostgator.com website here and I see that since I since I joined since I got my own hosting account they've added a couple things but and I don't really know a whole lot about these I do intend to get on the phone with them and learn a little bit more about you know why a person want, might want these other packages obviously not these these are for the um you know the the, the big marketers that the, the have all you know a bunch of websites and need all kinds of bandwidth and storage and you know just not for a beginner okay um and i notice here that it's, it claims that it's faster but when i click through it, it does cost you know more and, and the thing that you want to do right now as a beginner is just get started with a very very affordable package that has enough um, storage space enough bandwidth for you to get going without committing to you know additional money that you don't really need to commit to right we want to stay on budget here and so for that for that reason and, 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 and like I say I'll check more into this and you know let people know what, what it's all about but for, for right now for the beginner I recommend just doing this and I'll take you to the next page. Just click on here, get started now. And again, we're at hostgator.com, get started now. There's a lot of hosting companies out there, by the way. I'm showing you this one because this is the one that I use. I'm familiar with it and I'm happy with it. Okay, it works fine for me. So these are the plans. Um, and the one that I recommend is not this one because see right here, the main reason, single domain. Well, that's great for your very first domain, but you're probably going to want to add additional domains. Okay, and I'll just leave it at that for right now because for two dollars more, with this baby plan, which is what I have, and which is what I recommend you get, um, unlimited domains. Okay. Um, now it says here starting at five ninety five a month. That's not going to be the true cost if you're if you're paying for monthly, and, and I recommend that as a beginner that you start off monthly which is what i did and actually what i still do because number one and let's be honest okay let's be realistic about this you just, you don't know if you're going to continue with this or not okay stuff happens life gets in the way you change your mind or whatever so you don't want to commit you don't want to get the discounted rate by purchasing a three-year plan or whatever if you're not going to follow through with it so test the waters for now go monthly and you can always upgrade to um, the three-year plan to get the 595 cost because you'll see here the billing cycle for for 36 months that's when you get 595 but if you just want to go one month uh, one month a month at a time it's 1195 Three months that just means that you get out of the to get it out of the way you pay for three months at a time six months at a time I'm still on the one month I don't, I don't have an issue with it okay um, for what you get so that's the baby plan now if you don't have a domain yet you can just get one now while you are purchasing your hosting okay and what you do is you just search for a domain now i'm going to put one in that that i know is taken so i can show you what happens when you put in one that's already taken that will happen if you're trying to choose something that's really popular oops can't even spell my own name brettgurney.com register a domain
see it just tells you that it's unavailable okay it's it's un, it's unavailable which means you have to try something else so just for a matter of example um, I'll just choose this one and now it says that this one is is added okay which means that it's added to your cart okay I, I'm not gonna go past this form obviously because I'm not really gonna buy this I've already got one but I just want to show you how to how to get it done so so you can choose your domain here and, and again your domain is like your name tag online and, it, and it's kind of an important thing because it's how you want to present yourself to people and it's a great way for you to to show them um, who you are a lot of people will use their name because they want to brand their name a lot of people will use the name of Maybe you have a company, and the name of your company um, as a domain name, or the name of your service as a domain name, or maybe just some kind of a nickname or a tagline that you've used that you like and that other people kind of associate with you. You can use that. Okay, and so you just you choose that, and then you just go down the form and you just, you know, you, you know how to check out and, and do this stuff now. So you just fill this stuff out now just really quickly um, I don't really, rec really recommend right now any of this stuff because you want to keep your cost down while you're get just getting started and learning you don't want to feel like oh gosh I just put all this money in the hosting and I'm just getting started don't really know what I'm doing and I don't want you to put yourself into an uncomfortable situation where you're you know I mean let's keep the cost down so you know so you would it's, I know it says it's recommended, but there, there's other there's other free plugins. Once you get into WordPress, which I'll sh I'm going to show you how to do, then you just get free plugins that will that will protect your websites, and you don't need to to get it here, even though it is, I mean, pretty cheap, bucks six, seven a month. So you know you you can do that if you want. Um, but you know some of this stuff now, site backup and restore again. Um, you don't need to do that. You could. I mean, it's certainly affordable, $1.67 a month, but you know, it does kind of all add up. Um, by the way, there are free plugins with WordPress that'll do these same things. So it's up to you if you want that or not. And you don't need this. And then uh, if you happen to have a code, um, it looks like they put a code in for you, which gives you the discount. And then you, it just shows you um, now somehow. Oh, I see what I did. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Um, domain registration. Remember, I chose a domain up there, and that's showing. And and this shows the baby at, at um, 36 months because that's that's because I left this here. Okay, but um, we're, we'll put that on one month, and that'll change this down here. So now you're just at um, and the hosting add-ons. I thought I took those off. Happen there. Maybe I need to discount 505. What am I missing here? Add ons. Oh, add domain privacy. No, we don't need that. There's so you got to be careful with these guys. They're, they're, always, they're always trying to get you to buy extra stuff, but that's just what you know, they all do that. And so we got rid of that add-on, and now of course we've got this down at twenty-one ninety, and that, and then that's with the domain. And and if and if I didn't, let's let me see if I can get rid of this. Oh, I can just uncheck it here. So I'm just no, I can't. Um, how do I get rid of that? Well, let me. Try that one instead. <laughs> it added another one. I'm not really sure how to get rid of that. So I guess you need to just be careful with it. Oh, I did get rid of it. Okay, I got rid of it by by selecting the fact that I already have my own domain. So, so if you ever run into that, it change your mind. Just choose already. I already own this domain. Um, 
or I already have my own domain, something like that, and I'll take it away. So, so, and then you just check out. Okay, uh, money back guarantee, 45 days, um, 11.95, and it's going to be 11.95 a month. And then WordPress to install WordPress is free. Okay, and so um, I will continue to show you how to do that. So that's just a really quickie on how to buy your hosting account. Um, how to buy your domain name and why you would want your own domain name, your own hosting, because you're going to show people that you're serious about your internet marketing and that they should work with you because of that. And you're going to brand yourself online so that people start to recognize you and want to work with you. Okay. So um, that is it. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks.